doubt those who say they have found it. Here is the ultimate truth seeker, George West. One man trying to make sense of a world gone totally cray-cray. I'm back. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. It's the George West Show right here on 247miami.tv. I got five pounds of show for a three pounds worth of show. You know, the actual cliche is I got five pounds of crap in a three-pound bag to put it in. And I wouldn't trust anybody other than myself to do it. We got an amazing show today. Big stuff on the horizon to tell you about. Joining me today, as always, I've got uh, Dolphin Boy with sports. And we've got the host of Rink Rash Radio. And one of the skaters from Miami's Vice City Rollers, uh, Wilma Shakespeare, is what? joining me today. All right, guys. So uh, first off, Johnny Cakes, uh, what's going on in sports? What's happening? You used a lot going on. Yeah, crazy football uh, free agency that I'm totally shocked. The Dolphins are spending some money. That's good. That's and they're good. firing a lot of people. Of course. They got Dominic Kuzu, 140 million for six years deal. That's what I like. You like that, huh? Yeah. So you think they're finally starting to buy the talent they need to, to have a championship team? Yeah. Or is this more preseason posturing that we've seen from the Dolphins for the last 30 years, and they're going to fold it to half? as they've come known to do. I know it hurts you to hear me say that, but the best indicator of future behavior is past behavior. Well, I'm going to say either both. because it's, it's, it's <laughs> well, about... Then you're not saying anything. I'm going to say either both. It's either going to be great or it's going to suck, but you, you no, you got to pick a side, dude. Well, it's going to be both. I mean, it's going to be good this year. I mean, it's going to be tough division as well. Right. Uh, a game is a game. You know what I mean? I mean, the Patriots got good players, the Jets, the Buffalo and the Dolphins. They also got Brian McCain for two years and they trade Mike Wallace. He's one of my best receiver heading to the Minnesota Vikings. He got traded yesterday. Shakes, you see what he did there? He said, my best receivers. He, like, he, he owns it. He owns it. Like, he, he, I was wondering about that. He owns it. You it's know, he, he loves the Dolphins. He loves sports. I think the only thing he loves more than football and, and traditional sports is wrestling. And roller derby. And also, they Man, got, do, do you love roller derby? He loves roller derby. Say you love roller derby. Oh, say you love roller derby. I'm He's there at every game. He loves roller derby. And um, <laughs> basically, basically, I I, uh, also, I also like um when they got Kenny Slice Slice from the Saints, but they trade my linebacker and it'd be for a turn round pick. So it happens. Okay, all right. But you're feeling positive about what uh, the moves the Dolphins are making, and you're you're anticipating a, a, a decent 2015-2016 uh, season. Right, and they got also Jordan Cameron for two years. He got a concussion too many times, so he's good as well. Now, yeah. Now, what about the, the big news this week is a uh, boy named Sue. Uh, yeah, I like I like that pick, but I don't know. I mean, the guy, he, he took a call from uh, Warren Buffett. In the middle of, yeah, Warren Buffett called this kid, and apparently through his college in Nebraska there, he come to, to have met Mr. Warren Buffett, the third richest man on this planet. Right. And apparently they have some kind of, you know, friendship. They, right. they, they, they call each other on the regular and talk about uh, stuff. Right. Gumbo, football, shopping, I don't know. Yeah. Last night's episode of Walking Dead. Who knows what the hell they're talking about? Right, right. Some personal stuff, but I mean. So, I, but Sue was a big get for. I mean, this is we paid a lot of money, and this is an uh, an offensive player. No, right. a defensive player. defense. A nose tackle. He's the one who knocks the quarterback down. Got it. All right. Right. And he's been court, fined a quarter million dollars so far in his career for stepping on people. Yeah, he will be there until 2020. So he will. He's 28 years old. 28 years hey, old. Did you say stepping, stepping on, on people? people? The guy looks like and comes off like some kind of thug. Yeah, like And then like, he opens his mouth and he is one of the most articulate young men I have heard in professional sports in my entire career. Yeah, for example. Very well spoken but and incredibly smart. But, but he likes people. to step on people, you know? We all yeah. have our quirks. He's a dirty player. He's mean. He's nasty. He he talks nice to people like a reporter, but he I know he's mean. He he talks trash. And he always get defined. He don't even care. Yeah, but he he's your to... guy now. Yeah, I know. He's he's your. That's your receiver. That's your no, guy now. No tackle. Okay. But I believe that he's gonna do the same thing like always. Trust me. But I, I yeah, but he's doing it for us now. Yeah. So for, you know, when he was doing it to you, you had a problem with it. Now that he's inside the tent peeing out, you you're you're on board, right? That, that's right. interesting though, because you know you say he's aggressive and he's mean on the court. On right. the on the on the um, grid, well, right. <laughs> right. But then you she's know, a outside. roller derby girl. <laughs> <laughs> but outside of that, you know, he's you know makes good interviews. Isn't that the job? And articulate and stuff like, like when you're playing football, you're playing aren't football. you supposed to be aggressive? Exactly. I don't know about stepping on people and all that kind of thing. You know, maybe that's an intimidation limits, deal. Right. That's great. And if but you can he's afford a quarter trying, mil, yeah. Hey, what's the big deal? He's obviously trying to get into other people's heads. How, how much was his deal for? 
114 million. Six. So what's a quarter million? Wait, what? What's he got 114 million dollar contract? For example, let me give you an example. Giancarlo, the baseball player from the Marlins, baseball, 325 million, 13 years. Chris Bosch, Miami Heat, five years deal, 118 minutes. And Dominic Kuzu, the football player, 114 minutes with six years deal. Six years deal. Yeah. So a quarter million dollars is dropping the bucket. And yeah. there's no hockey highest pay, only basketball. <laughs> Not in this town, there ain't. Not in this town, there, because, you know, you know, the kids every winter like to go out on the frozen lakes of Miami and, and, play, an, and play a nice game of hockey. And then they become drowning victims because right. it doesn't freaking freeze here. Right. Okay, so why do we have? Why does Tampa have a hockey team? Why do we? Why does Florida have a hockey team? It just ma that makes no sense. They deserve it. It's a young talent thing. It's not about winning and losing. But no, man, it's about people who are live here from somewhere else. Yeah, I know. You know, our our transient population, our snowbirds, all that. When their team comes to town, they can go see their team. Right. They don't. Nobody's really going. I mean, there are Panthers fans out there. I I know too. Right. Uh, it's what uh, Donna and Yuri died in the wool hockey fans and they're all about their Panthers, but they're the only two I know. You can't say that anybody in this room, anybody who's, you know, within the sound of my voice, think of the heat, the dolphins, the Marlins in your personal life. You know, so many people that are like that. <clears throat> right. But as far as hockey, how many do you know that are people that are wearing the Panthers jerseys? How how many of those do you see? Not right. many, right? I've never even been to a hockey game. I've been dying to go one. Though. Boom! Yeah. I, 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 I won't mind taking you. How's that? Because I barely go to a lot of games. Isn't he sweet? Isn't he sweet? <laughs> I won't mind. Have you seen her boyfriend? <laughs> he looks like He Man. No way. Oh yeah, he's he's <laughs> affectionately referred to as Pex. <laughs> Uh, around the rink. That's I don't not, mean to embarrass you. That's not true. I don't George. mean to, no, dude. This dude is huge. He's built like a. I mean, he he's stacked. He's amazing. He, he's he's very very muscular. And he's got brains to go with it too. You know, like he could you know look at you and and snap your neck with a look. <laughs> oh His God. eyes are so strong, like Superman. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. And, and you know I, this because we were at the after party and we hung out. Yeah, and I saw him making out with you and, and all this. And I, no. Yeah, I did. I did. I saw you were liking it, too. <laughs> and, and basically, as well, the heat, I think they're done. But I mean, they're still alive, but they lost yesterday. Yeah, once Bosch went out with the, the blood clots in his lungs, and we hope that he recoups, he can come back next season. And uh, say he's coming he back. has a great career. Uh, wish nothing but the best for that guy. And um, he's coming back in September. He I will love his work on the Disney Channel. With the little shows that my kids watch, everything Chris Bosch will show up every once in a while. Right, absolutely zero com comedic or acting chops, but the fact that he's showing he's up trying, and he's, he's, he's giving back to the kids, he's, he's you know, I love that. I, I think that, right. as an athlete, you know, you have you're this public figure. You know, you do have a, especially you know, for a team as notorious as the Miami Heat, you know, you do have a responsibility. You hear that, Charles game. Barkley? You are a role model, yeah, whether you, know. you like it or whether not. Whether you like it or not, you know, you are out there and you have a public mm -hmm. image and people look up to you. Last Sunday, I met Chalmers. Mario seen. Chalmers. Very cool. Yeah, but you're doing stuff like that every week where you're going out to, oh, yeah. uh, you know, it, it could be Macy's or J.C. Penney's Home Goods or something like yeah, that. And they do next like, to the washing machines, we're going to have uh, one of the Heat players for 15 minutes. They do concerts. How long will you stand in line? Well, last Friday, this is what happened. Uh-oh. What happened was. What, what had happened was. Okay. What happened was uh, I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday with my mom last week. And the STS, the special transportation, pick us up because my mom, she don't know how to get in No Avenue, Miami, mm -hmm. where the thing was located in Party City. We was outside and the Party City, Party City was open at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we so just you got, got there at least three hours early. Yeah. So we just got there between 7, 7, 30. And we was outside. We was the third person, third person in line. The guy was there second. And there was two huge ladies. Two huge ladies came from Orlando. They was we, we, we say full figured. Okay. Say full, Curvy. Cool. Full, full figure. Okay. <laughs> but basically, basically, when we went inside, when the store opened inside, people who wants to buy forty bucks for the Detroit Miami Heat game tickets for March twenty nine, I didn't buy because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to make it. But then I turned to, I went to aisle nine, and I was the first person in line to make my own challenge. First in line on aisle nine. Yeah. But Chalmers, to me, he he he's a mean guy. I mean. I met him second time. The first right. one, he's mean. The second time, he's mean. I just shake hands and then I ran away. I got his autograph, take pictures, and that's it. I'm that's gone. it. You're done. Yeah. Okay. All and right. the week before, I met wife side. One more thing here before we get ready to go to break that I want to talk about. And you had a big milestone in your life th th this week there, uh, Dolphin Boy. Right? Something something big happened at your day job. Uh, it's yeah. not a prison sentence. It's a part-time job. How many years? 
eight years already. Eight years with with what organization? Uh, Publix. Publix. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, Thank eight, you. Eight years with Publix. And uh, so you started off as a bag boy. What are you doing today? Uh, no, I've been doing that for the last almost eight years. They will not let, they will not let me to move up. Well, was, that's because you're part time. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready to go full time and become a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker? Nah. No. I'm still gonna do the same thing until I'm until you know. Do you like being a bag boy? Oh yeah, and make tips. Yeah, but you're not supposed to take tips. Well, I'm not allowed to, but I stick it in my pocket. <laughs> Had a boy. Had a boy. <laughs> Basically, as well, um, another sport new Jimmy Grant, the former UM uh, Tigerin, who went from the Saints, went to the Seahawks. Now, that's another shocks, shocking trade. All right. Dolphin boy with sports. All right. Before we go to break, I want to let you know that next week there's not going to be a George West show, uh, but there will be a very special uh, episode of Rink Rash Radio. We're going to be doing an hour of the show live right before the doubleheader. This is March 21st. First game is at 6 o'clock. And, of course, 247miami.tv is going to be streaming the entire thing. we got Tommy Gunn Cole coming in. I've got Caroline Granado and Maite La Tigra, as well as myself. will be helping call the games. Will the Thrill. Uh, we've got 6 o'clock Key West Derby Danes taking on the South Florida Bruisers. And then at 8, your Miami's Vice City Rollers. Welcome the South, South Florida, Florida Roller, Roller Girls. Girls. Now, this is a big rematch for you guys, right? It is. They, uh, we, they, they were the second game of our first season. And you got and we're now in our fourth season, and we got whooped. You so got whooped hard. This is going to be an interesting rematch. <laughs> the and road to redemption. It's a it's a different it's a different Miami team. I'm sure it's a different South Florida Royal Girls team. Let's see let's see what happens. Yeah, you've seen a not that I was there for it, but I've heard stories, you know, from people that I trust, like yourself, where you know, the team has really developed. And yes. so far this season, you're undefeated. Yes, we are undefeated, and we hope to continue that we, legacy. Uh, we had the the scrimmage, which didn't, didn't count, but it was a lot of fun in December. That was fun. It's then fun. Uh, January was January, the first bout, Molly Rogers, and that was the Molly Rogers, and, and then the Rolling that Rogers. one was a nail biter. That was like head to head the whole nail way biter. Through. And then the last uh, last, last bout, game, Rolling Valkyries, Valkyries, which you, was a blowout, two hundred thirty five yeah. points. In they 95. they they you know they did, it's like they didn't even make you work for it. I mean, I don't like to put down Derby teams, and Dizzy Boots is awesome, and Sookie's awesome, yeah. and we hope you heal Sookie with your broken leg. I hope yeah. you. Get better soon Please. uh but was that was, bloodbath was gets thrown around a lot <laughs> but this was indeed a bloodbath all right guys you're listening to the george west show make sure you're uh, back here or if you can't make it march 21st at the sunnyland hockey rink 9300 coral reef drive miami florida that's us1 and southwest 152nd street gates open at 5 30 you can get your tickets online right now discounted ten dollars uh at miami roller derby.com or they're going to be twelve dollars at the gate, and remember, any kid under ten o'clock, uh, under ten years of age, is absolutely free. And don't keep your kids out after ten o'clock. When about, <laughs> when about ends, if you've got small children there, no after party for you. You've got to go home with the babies, and I think that uh, might be my state, uh, my thing. Don't forget, we also have the the music's provided by DJ Nancy Star. You're listening to the George West Show right here, twenty four seven Miami TV. Stick around. We got the news coming up right after this.
He is a social critic, not a cheerleader. If you don't listen to the George West Show, the terrorists win. Thank you, Jack. Jack Ross, my voiceover guy. Guys, voices spun from pure gold. I feel like I just want to date him. Like, d just that voice. He, he's an old, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> that is one sexy man yeah, voice. I mean, yeah. it's not often that I question my heterosexuality. <laughs> not often at all. You know, died in the wool. You know, there was that one time in jail, but that guy said he loved me. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Jack, yeah, am amazing voice. I'm lucky to have him as my voiceover guy. I just right. want to listen to it over and yeah, over. Yeah, don't you, though? Yeah. All right, so let's find out what's been going on in the Sunshine State this week. A lot, a lot, a lot of crazy stuff. Now, what do you give a six-foot alligator? Food. Anything he wants. Okay. Anything he wants. <laughs> All right, so there are hundreds of alligators living in the lush swamps surrounding the Makaya Pines Golf Club in Inglewood, Florida. But few have gained as much attention as the very large gator who became a hazard on the seventh green last week. Happens all the time in Florida. Gators on golf courses. I, I think that's on a t-shirt at the tourist shops. Or gators and anacondas going at it. All, always fun. Yeah. We got to find a way to televise that. If we could have that as like part of the halftime show at Derby, did that'd you, be awesome. Did you ever see that article where they were eating each oh, other? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's insane. According to general manager uh, Maki Zada, two senior members of the club were playing on a course on March 6th when they came upon the alligator who appears to have taken residence in the uh, white course number seven hole. Uh, Bill Susie used his phone to snap a few pictures of the gator at an angle that made it look like a dinosaur. I mean, if you've seen the pictures online, this thing looks huge. Uh, although, in reality, it was only 12 to 13 feet long. Only, only 12 to only. 13 feet long, that's all. That's just a baby. It's just a baby. Uh -huh. It's so cute when they're little. Uh, according to Zeta, the photos have turned into a pub publicity boom for the course, uh, which is located south of St. Petersburg on Florida's Gulf Coast. Wait, so people want to go see the gator? Yeah. Okay. Listen, you've got that, you've got that, uh, that little roadside thing that's on um, on the Tamiami Trail on 41 uh, when you're you're headed over to like Marco Island from Miami. Mm. That's uh, this the swamp, uh, the skunk ape uh, research headquarters, but it's also like a little roadside zoo. They've got gators and snakes and uh, panthers and ostriches and peacocks and all that kind of thing. It's a great way to kill 15 minutes and pee uh, before you make it all the way over to Marco Island. <laughs> and watch some animals. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Moving on, our next story. Uh, negative Ghost Rider. The penis pattern is full. <laughs> this is your pilot speaking. We're cruising at an altitude of 41,000 feet, and we're just going to be making penis shapes in the air today. Uh, aviation <laughs> fans who on Thursday night just happened to check Flight Radar 24, a popular site that gives users the ability to track the flight paths of planes around the world. Okay. While well, they might have noticed an odd pattern that a private plane made above the Sunshine State of Florida, if you haven't noticed just that, and you can't notice because you have to go online and, and see, see the picture, but uh, basically what he did is he <laughs> flew around in the air, you know, and and created a, a, you know, some cock and balls. <laughs> With clouds? No, with just his pattern as he was flying around. He flew. People notice that? Yeah, there's this Flight Radar 24 website that tracks the the flight patterns, and so you know. So you got people staring at flight patterns. Listen, to these see pilot guys are nuts. In the air. These pilot guys are That's nuts. We're we're just where we're broadcasting from right now, recording the show. We're just a few miles from Miami's uh, international airport, and the neighborhood that surrounds that. Uh, back in the day, you know, when Miami was first coming up, was home to a lot of pilots and wives of pilots and people who work for the Makes airline, sense. a lot of Pan Amers, uh, that kind of thing. I know for a fact, I've been in one of the homes where one of the pilots had converted a room into basically a control center where in his off time, he would just sit there and listen to flight traffic just, just to know what's going on, not doing anything nefarious, just listening. Interesting. And he, you know, he built all this stuff himself. Anybody can. You can go buy the stuff to, to to listen in, like ham radio operators. Anywho, it's unknown whether this particular pilot was aware that he or she mm. was drawing a sky penis. Hmm. But come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. I think you know what you're doing. Penis in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a hilarious story from the glorious Sunshine State. Now, this one's not so funny, but you know, I've never been a fan of the hippies. Never. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Come on. No, I'm telling you, they held music hostage for like 60 years. This whole peace and love crap. You know, did they get it right with the drugs? No. Ask <laughs> David Crosby. Did they get it right with the free love? No. Ask all the illegitimate children and the rampant disease that's running through America now and the new black plague of the millennium, AIDS and all that kind of stuff. Epsi. I blame you, hippies. I blame you. 
but you don't deserve this. Uh, a patient under 24-hour guard in Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare has been identified as a suspect in the recent fatal shooting at the Rainbow Family Gathering in the Apalachicola National Forest. Clark Myers, 39 years old, of Midgeville, Georgia, allegedly shot and killed a man and injured another at the Rainbow Father Gathering, uh, gathering at the Apalachicola National Forest last Thursday. Franklin County Sheriff's Officer uh, Chester Creamer uh, says that. What a name. <laughs> Did you see his face? Captain Chester Creamer. <laughs> it sounds like, uh, I don't know. It, it just, I don't it's, know. Where... It's like something you would put in your coffee. Give me some Chester Creamer. You know, peanuts patterns in the air and Chester, Chester Creamers. Creamer. Yeah. yeah, it's the George West show. <laughs> <laughs> what, type, what type of creamer you're talking about? Like ice cream? <laughs> Apparently, Chester. Creamer. No, it's just a guy's last name. <laughs> oh my God. Just a fella's last name. I guess the creamer always rises, right? <laughs> right. That, I guess that's weird. <laughs> oh my God. The jokes are All right. The man was uh, killed in the shooting has been identified as Jacob Cardwell of Arizona. Deputies were called to the campsite in the National Forest after reports of the shooting and found one man dead and another with life threatening gunshot wounds. Myers had been stabbed repeatedly. Creamer did not have an exact age for Cardwell, but he said he was born in 1982. He remains in serious condition. And the surviving shooting victim, 24-year-old Wesley Jones, is still in serious condition and re remains at the TMH uh, Center, according to Creamer. So that'll ruin any family reunion. Well, it's the Rainbow Family. This is not like a regular. You're not familiar with the Rainbow Family? No, I'm not familiar with the Rainbow Family. Uh, uh, basically, kind of think gypsies, meet hippies, meet, uh, you know, druggies. Okay. And they all kind of get together and have a big, you know. Kumbaya. Yeah. Okay. With, without the Grateful Dead. Grateful <laughs> Dead concert without the band. Gotcha. You know, so I guess the parking lot. And they, they've been running around Florida, Jesus, since I was in high school. And uh, somebody just got shot and killed. A yeah. Few people got well, no, this that was the big thing back in the day is that, you know, the cops would always like you know, when they knew then they came to town because, you know, shoplifting went up and petty theft and all, all these things. You know, there's this transient group and, you know, they steal. They deal drugs. They, they, and they, they shit in the woods. They, they do all those things. Okay. Just like bears. <laughs> you know, hippies. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all right. It's internet radio. We're talking about hippies, right? And too early, and I'm like trying to figure out everything. Listen, I move fast around here, Diane. That's Diana Monroy, my my engineer producer. It's like everything's going penis. Yes, alligator penis and, and alligators. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Get an alligator penis on your chester. Oh, <laughs> on your creamer. No, yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, like the little uh, lacrosse shirts. You know, yeah, they get a little alligator, alligator on your chest. Yeah. What did you guys think I was talking about? Uh, get your I'm minds still, out of the gutter. I'm still on penis patterns in the air. You get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> All right. Our next story. Meat is meat. And man's got to eat. Line I stole. Totally lifted that from Motel Hell. A horror classic. All right. This one's out of from right down the street here. All right. We're, we're broadcasting from uh, lovely Doral, Florida. And this story just happens to come from right down the street. The alleged operator of an illegal Doral slaughterhouse farm. Apparently in bond appeared in bond court on Friday, facing count them 30 charges of committing atrocious acts against animals. Mm. Miami Dade police said goats, cows, chickens, and animals of all types. Police say were butchered and boiled alive, then sold to paying customers. Ooh. Listen, I like fried chicken, but you have got to kill the chicken before you eat it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to eat a live chicken because they fight back. Ooh, that's, get, that's a bad karma. Packed. That's a you, bad karma on your food. All right. It's listen, there's no nice way to do it. It's <laughs> it is what it is. You know? There is a nice way to do it. You That's why you were fast. born with teeth for cutting, tearing, and grinding. <laughs> well, I feel it's bad. It's the, for the natural order of things. I feel bad for the vegetarians here in this story. Well, I just I, I feel sorry for you too, man, because you're missing out. Brisket is good. Pulled pork Brisket is, is good. good. Bacon is good. I can't, right. yeah, I can't argue with you there. The animal rescue missions, uh, Richard Coto led police to the Coco farm after in a killing field near the Tam Florida Turnpike and 41st Street, which is right down the street from us, uh, on the edge of Doral, after a shooting uh, un under undercover video. It was horrific, torturous operation, skidding animals alive, drowning animals in boiling water while they were twisting heads off goats. Ugh. But business boomed over Christmas and New Year's holidays. Hey, listen, that cheap meat, you know, the, the harsher you kill it. The presente meat. I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> just just saying that uh, Shakespeare is in no way associated, affiliated, and her opinions in no way reflect the opinions of the, the management 
or talent or staff of uh, 247miami.tv. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't go to Presidente for me. <laughs> and I'm just saying that uh, I'm just saying that Shake's opinions in no way reflect those of the management of 24/7 Miami TV or the George West show. All right, so uh, business boomed over Christmas and New Year's because people, you know, want to have big meals and cheap meat is good. Uh, customers reportedly even brought their children to watch the Noche Buena Pig getting stabbed through the heart. <laughs> Come on. Listen, I, I, you. I, there's something about a roasted pig, no. like in full form, that I just can't. I can't. Oh, really I love just, it. No, I love it. Like if you chop it up and I don't see its head, okay. Exactly. You're yeah, so I'll eat it then. But yeah. if I see the whole pig yeah, with can't. its head, I won't eat it. Me You're neither. so squeamish. I You're won't so, eat it. So, no, so no. squeamish. I just won't eat it. No. My, my mother in law. My mother in law is the same way. Like at, at, at Thanksgiving, she won't. She doesn't want to do the the whole turkey. She she'll get the the processed stuff from like Omaha steaks, like a turkey loaf. That's been pre-sliced. The turkey what? I can do. The big old you pig. Know, oh. It came from the one that you're eating that you're okay with was killed in the exact same manner as I the know, one that. But okay, but... I'm not looking at it. I think the issue is here. <laughs> I'm not even seeing the poor animal get. You don't killed. want to know how the sausage is no, made. No, no, no. I I don't have an issue with it. I mean, as a young, hold on a second, there, dolphin boy. As a young man, you know, my grandfathers took me hunting. My uncles took me hunting, and uh, you know. You shoot the animal and you skin it and fish and all that. I grew up doing that. This was, you know, if you wanted to eat it, you had to get the hair off the damn thing first before you could batter it and fry it. Right. That's that's the way it works. I remember when, you know, just little kid and they thought my uncle thought this was funny. Uh, and apparently I was lied to and told it was a delicacy. And I hope everybody had a great laugh. Uh, I was fed uh, fried squirrel heads. Oh, yeah. So they cut the head off the squirrel. Right. <laughs> Flash fry it. No. Flash fry it. And then, you know, you give, you know, little Georgie over there in the corner. Let's let him gnaw on its skull. And, the squirrel. and I would be there. <laughs> so you're a squirrel muncher. To this day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I wish you, you didn't could. notice my beard looks like a glazed donut this morning? <laughs> Oh my god! How did that happen? How did that? How does it taste? What well, squirrel's good? Yeah. Squirrel meat's good. It oh no! Sounds tough. I rather I rather eat like a uh, pig or fish face. I done it before. Oh, like, like sure. Chicken, <laughs> turkey. I submit <laughs> that if you're hungry enough, you'll eat your family pet. No. I'm yes. not Eating man. No, yes, you would. No, no. No. What, what type of food? What type of food? Dog. No, 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 no. Goldfish. Well, I don't know what the hell kind of you know. Why would I eat the goldfish? Have? That's not gonna He's help. He's saying if you're hungry enough. Well, go fish, go fish, yeah. Uh, it's a fish, right? Well, yeah, so that makes you eat a goldfish. It's okay yeah. to eat fish. Cause I cried when my goldfish don't died. Don't have I any eat feelings. <laughs> You're just living a Nirvana song, aren't you, Johnny Boy? <laughs> Rock on. All right, you listen to the George yeah. West Show right here, 24-7 Miami.tv. We'll give you more details on the meat is murder story, but, you know, man's got to eat. Meat is murder. Tasty, tasty murder. I'm the George West. This is the George West Show, 24-7 Miami.tv. And I want to remind you, next Saturday, I'm going to be off the air. We'll be running a best of, but... Don't worry, you'll be able to get your fix of George West goodness right here on 247miami.tv. We're going to be live streaming uh, starting at 6 o'clock. The Key West Derby Dames taking on South Florida Bruisers. Then at 8, Miami's Vice City Rollers taking on the South Florida Roller Girls. And you'll be able to hear one hour of pregame Rink Rash Radio right here, 247miami.tv. Tune in 5 o'clock next week. Stick around.
Hello, this is your president, and people wonder what I'm doing on the golf course. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm listening to the George West Show because making decisions really sucks. I'm back. It's the George West Show right here on 247Miami.tv. Now, when last we left you, I was telling you the, the terrible tale of the Doral Slaughterhouse, just blocks from where I'm broadcasting right now. Uh, apparently Miami-Dade police said goats, cows, chickens, and animals of all types were butchered, boiled alive, and then sold to paying customers with a big boom over the, uh, the, the holiday weekend there, Christmas and New Year's. Uh, for, okay, so uh, brutal. Uh, let me get back to where I was here. I'm completely lost my thing. Okay. Customers reportedly even brought their children to watch the Noche Buena Pig uh, getting stabbed through the heart. Which that I got, I take issue with. You don't kill the pig by stabbing in the heart, although it is effective. It's going to kill the thing instantly. It's kind of painless, but uh, you know, the way we did it was, you know, you shoot him in the head. What? That's more brutal than stabbing in the heart. I mean, boom, lights are off. <laughs> it seems a little. Is there a better vicious. way to kill the pig? That's how you do it. Dude, I went to a slaughterhouse for a high school. Don't be afraid trip. of the microphone. I went to a okay. I moved from Miami to a small town in Oklahoma. Long story. Point is, their high school senior field trip was to the local seaboard slaughterhouse. Nice. Where we saw pigs get slaughtered. Cool. And no, it was bad. It was Why really was that bad? bad? What? Because was you able to sleep at night? Every I one left. of them pigs I that got slaughtered means out. twenty humans get. They to were eat. about to shock it, like they were shocking them, and yeah. like I heard him squeal, and the yeah, then instant. lights are out. Mm. I would have become. Vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, they're still gonna twitch a little bit. I mean, yeah. but you didn't become uh, uh, you didn't become vegetarian after that. I did. Nope. I did not eat bacon for years. I did not. You eat only any stopped pig. the bacon. No, no, no. Why I did, did not eat any pig meat. I would have asked really if there were time. free samples on the way out or a gift shop. No, no, I could. No, uh, that's uh, nope. Sorry, you know, animals have two purposes, and that is to taste good and fit well. well why eat bacon now? But <laughs> <laughs> don't let Peta hear you. <laughs> let him hear. You don't know who kill, you know who kills more animals than anybody else? Peta. How? Because they got to euthanize these poor animals that uh, have you, whatever. When they decide that the animals had a hard life and everything, it's okay for them to kill it. But heaven forbid, you know, you should feed yourself. Peter can suck a big one. I'm sorry. Just no, sorry. I nope, thought, nope, nope, I nope, nope. Peter, you Tell us how you really feel, George. Okay. Yeah, you thought you thought you bought into the propaganda. Okay. You know, these are the Peter guys. You know, nice unhappy people. meals. All this. I wish. I, all of a sudden, I became African American. There. I wish somebody from Peter would try to give one of my children, one of my daughters, an unhappy meal on my way out of McDonald's. What's the I will meal? end my day in handcuffs. What's an unhappy yeah, meal? Yeah, what's an unhappy meal? This, these, these things they put together where it's basically they're showing kids, uh, you know, the cows being slaughtered and you know, what's, you know, everything that you're eating is, you know, it's dripping with blood and you're a murderer and all this to little kids. And like I say, I wish one of them would try to do that. So you're saying you don't, your kids won't be vegetarian? No. My my children do, died in the world carnivores. <laughs> Die in the world but, you know, I feel like I'm seeing more of that now, like where kids are more and more like vegetarian, you know, mm -hmm. at a younger and younger age. Sure, you know? and all this soy milk crap and all this. So you got little boys that are seven years old. They're drinking so much soy that they, it's got estrogen in it that they're growing boobs. Uh, oh, yeah. That I did not know. I know. I, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> He this, just gave me chills. I'm telling you, <laughs> right? Look at it, okay? You know, my grandfather, right? Smoked until the day he died. Camel non-filter cigarettes. Smoked Ugh. until the di day oh. died. Drank bourbon every day. Drank black coffee by the gallon daily. Ate red meat daily. He won his wars. That man got up and went to work every day and did not bitch, did not complain. He went out and got it done. You look at kids today or, you know, people today. Oh, I need time off from work for that. Or I need time off from work from that. You're sad. You're weak, and you are the reason that, you have soy problems. Because I'm drinking soy milk. <laughs> is, that <the> soy milk? <laughs> is that the soy milk? <laughs> well, I don't think if your boobs got bigger, anybody would have a problem with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, a lot of ladies pay a lot of money. I mean, and if you can get it through drinking milk, I say go for it. I'll continue then. I'm better living through science. <laughs> All right, where was I? All right, I think we're gonna move on from this meat is murder story. That's you know, it's we're, that's we're gonna kill that I like story right now. I like controversy, <laughs> I like chaos, but that's just a wee too much. It's interesting for a Saturday morning. All right, next up, who stole my cheese? Who stole my cheese? I did enough cheese for tens of thousands of pizzas was stolen Sunday from a parking lot near Summerfield. Multiple tons of shredded mozzarella worth 85 thousand dollars that's wow. a lot of cheese yeah i love cheese 
That's a lot of cheese. Was like bound it. for Hungry Howie's Pizza Distribution Center in Lakeland, Florida. I like the white cheese better than the yellow cheese. I like all cheese. I like yeah. I like cheese. I'm cheese. You're hard yeah. to press to find a cheese I don't like. Because yeah. the yellow cheese is no protein, but the white cheese is good protein. Whatever. It doesn't it's matter. It's, it's cheese. cheese. <laughs> cheese. Or it's not the same cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese. Where, you it's melt cheese, and it's, it's good. Yeah. How, how, much, how much? Grilled cheese sandwiches. You got the sprinkle mm. stuff that you got to put uh, on everything pasta. Italian. Hamburger. Uh, yeah, everything Mexican. Yeah. Right? And I'm hillbilly. I mean, I'm telling you, Southern food, like, you know, you, Mac it's like I think it's a law. You have to have bacon fat or cheese and everything. Yes. Right. One, one of the Yummy. other. Everything makes better with cheese. All right. So yes. $85,000 worth of shredded mozzarella stolen from a refrigerated tractor uh, packed with the cheese was left at Hubbard's trucking parking lot uh, right off uh, Highway 441. Mm -hmm. The very same 441 that Tom Petty mentions in his uh, song American Girl. The driver uh, of the rig left the trailer at the parking lot on Saturday evening while he had the hauler checked by a mechanic. According to the Marion County Sheriff's Office reports, uh, Marion County covering uh, uh, the Ocala area there. Mm -hmm. The driver was traveling with his girlfriend, both of whom are from Michigan. wonder if it's the UP or the LP. Not that it matters. Which is where Hungry Howie's Pizza Chain has its headquarters. On Sunday, the woman drove by the parking lot to check on the trailer and noticed, what? It's missing. Officers investigated the missing trailer and learned that a 2007 Kenworth hauler, let me got to say that right, a 2007 Kenworth hauler <laughs> also had been reported stolen from the same lot and was presumably used to take the trailer. The driver of the truck declined to talk about the incident Monday afternoon. The missing trailer has white mud flaps with Hudsonville trailer sales on them. License plate DO74058 from Michigan. And the only markings on the trailer are the numbers 53226. The back door and the left front panel of the trailer is valued at um, uh, $62,000. So $62,000 worth of trailer, $85,000 worth of cheese, Jeez. and they stole a truck to haul it off with. I'm thinking this was a crime of opportunity. Either that or maybe the Noid is back. The Noid? That's right. You're young. You don't remember the Noid. No. Domino's Pizza had a, uh, a big ad campaign where you were going to avoid the Noid. <laughs> What's, What's the noise? The noise, like annoyed. You're gonna get annoyed with like your your pizza sticks to the, the box sticks to the top of the pizza. Oh, that does suck. Or that a pizza shows up cold, or you know it's not good. But when it really when it comes to pizza, pizza's like sex. Even when it's bad, it's good. I don't like cold pizza. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> if that's the only thing there is, you'll eat it. Yeah, you mm, yeah, I'd heat it up. Yeah, there's there's no better the cure for no a hangover. Eat it. <laughs> I'm curious, pizza. what the hell do you do with eighty five thousand? dollars worth of mozzarella cheese Shh. i mean what do you, you melt it swim in it like what do you do oh, with it oh yeah <laughs> that's a lot of shredded cheese what baby do do? <laughs> that's a lot of shredded cheese you could get really cheesy <laughs> you could melt it and get a little cheese in your hand you know how the kids like a little cheese in their hand you can have a little cheese in your hand all right you're listening to the george west show <laughs> Where we're trying to solve the mystery of the stolen eighty-five thousand dollars worth of mozzarella cheese, because let's face it, that's your pizza, right? That's your cheese on your pizza. And I, you know, although they're not down here in uh, in Miami, or at least I don't know of one. Uh, I liked Hungry Howie's. They were the first ones I knew of that did the flavored crust, which was really good. So they're in Gainesville, is the number one uh, Hungry Howie's in the whole chain. And I used to have buddies that worked there that. Uh, I would sell uh, organic uh, relaxation things too. You know, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I did what it took. I did what it took. We I kept a roof over what the head. What haven't you done, George? I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is the George West Show right here on 247miami.tv. And I want to remind you, next Saturday I won't be here. I'm going to be at the Derby Doubleheader, 6 p.m., March 21st. The Key West Derby Dames taking on South Florida Bruisers. And Miami's Vice City Rollers welcome the South Florida Roller Girls to the Sunnyland Hockey Rink. 9300 Coral Reef Drive. That's uh, US 1 and Southwest 152nd Street for those of you who don't abla. I'm George West. This is the George West Show, 247miami.tv. Stick around. Next segment, going to be action-packed. Dolphin Boy may not make it out alive. Stick around.
You're listening to the George West Show. His staff consists of a team of rocket scientists fired from NASA and a room full of untrained monkeys working around the clock to bring you the best show possible. Yes, yes, I keep my monkeys well fed. Bola Coco Puffs a day. That's all it takes. <laughs> who are the monkeys and who are the NASA astronauts? It's actually people inside my head. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> all right, before we get to uh, Wilma Shakespeare and talking about uh, next week's big derby doubleheader, I got a couple more stories we want to go over uh, in our last segment here. So our first one, I just want to dance. And this happened right up the street in Green Acres. A Florida woman was arrested uh, last Sunday after she stripped down to her birthday suit and then went uh, sitting outside of a Dunkin' Donuts in West Palm Beach, according to multiple media reports. Wow. Shakira Monique Martin, Monique spelled M-O-N-I-K, <laughs> Shakira Monique Martin, 32 years old, 32 years old, told oh. police that she had stripped naked outside the donut shop as part of a dare issued <laughs> to pledge a dance troupe at 32 at 32 Not bad. and if you see her picture in the paper you can see why they you know had a task for her to do that was going to end in handcuffs not attractive oh yeah you know, i'm sure she's a wonderful dancer at 32 years old and she's absolutely going to be able to keep up with those 18 19 year old kids are out there because you know you know 30 is the new you know you you get that second wind you know your body you start growing I'll be again 32 this year no, All I can tell you is your days of eating a bag of Oreos at a time are over. Yes, they are. You know, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit a wall. I mean, there used to be a time I could take down a whole large pizza, bag of Oreos, and wash the whole thing down with a bottle of uh, uh, Jimmy Beam, and oh. no problem, no problem. I Indigestion. do that now. It's gonna take me weeks to recover. Yeah, no, that's bad. It's a lot of bad, bad time what? spent thinking about what you've done in the bathroom and praying, wishing that you would eat ice cream. Come on, ice cream. I don't, I don't know. 32 taking a dare? That's a little. Yeah, 30. That's another side. I mean, of you're 32 years old. High school, middle school. 32 years old. But, but wait, there's more. She was offered clothes by passersby on several occasions, but declined to take them. And it was only when the police arrived that she began to apologize and dress herself. Oh my God. Of course, she faces indecent exposure charges, and her initial appearance is set in court for this Monday. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> 32 years old. I want to be a dancer. I want to be a dancer. So I'm going to strip naked and hang out in front of a donut shop. Donuts. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, children, but uh, in popular culture and fiction and this uh, dichotomy that we call America, this 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 thing we call America, aren't freaking cops known for hanging out at donut shops? So if you're going to do something stupid, maybe the donut shop is <laughs> not the best place to start, especially if that stupid thing you're going to do could get you arrested. Yeah, there was not a whole lot just, of thought. Just off the that. top of my head. That's, you know, just that's you know, one man's thinking here. And, right. and that's the reason why it's weird news, right? That yeah. is the reason why it's weird news. And uh, I think we're going to skip this last story so we can make time to talk to the lovely and talented host of Rink Rash Radio, which immediately follows this show. Uh, the George West Show right yes. now, 24-7 Miami.TV. Now, what do you got coming up for us today? We've got uh, on the show, or you mean coming up on the belt? Let's let's start with the show. What do we got right. on the? What? We've got the uh, we've got a couple of um, we have a skater from Gold Coast Derby Girls, Freakarella. Okay. She's coming on, and their coach, um, barely human. All be, right, uh, they're going to be live in the studio. And this is the first time you've had Gold Coast on your yes, show. Yes, the first time we have had Gold Coast this is a great opportunity for us to really bring the South Florida community together. We had Key West last time. Now we have you know the Broward team, and we just we just keep on building brick by brick. So it's just it's fantastic. I, I've, I've looked at your numbers. You're doing really well. Thank you. And uh, so they're going to be in the studio talking oh. about you know the talking about you know their team and what they've done. They've got the Clover Cup in a couple of weeks, which is you know basically like a regional. Uh, tournament um, and then we're ca calling in is uh, South Florida Royal Girls their captain backdraft Betty okay now and this is the team you'll be playing next this week. is the rematch okay. this is the, the, the revenge match uh, and oh. so it's going to be interesting and uh, we're going to pick their brain. They actually have a couple things going on. They have a clinic, which we basically uh, a veteran skater comes down and does like training with uh, skaters. So you maybe Scald somebody Eagle. from Gotham or something like that. Scald comes Eagle, actually. And she's she's very notorious in the derby community. So that's, they, they've got them coming down. And then we're calling in Mary Chaos, who is a skater for Tampa Bay Roller Derby and a referee for Tampa Bay Men's Roller Derby. So she's not only a skater, but she's also a referee and she's a coach. So we've got a lot of coaching. She's wearing three hats. Yeah. 
Yeah, she does it all. And she, uh, you know, actually participated in one of her training, uh, like online virtual trainings where how to eat, how to train, because it's not just about playing or training for derby. You got to cross train so that you're ready to like kick butt on the track. Okay. And uh, so we got this double header coming up next Saturday and rink rash is not going to be on in. Uh, the live stream is not going to be regular time. You're going to be going on at what, 5? 5 p.m. We'll 5 have to a, 6. We'll have an hour long pre games from both teams, uh, from the Key West Derby Dames. Hopefully, we'll get some from the South Florida Bruisers, as well as, uh, you know, the South Florida Roller Girls. They'll come down and do some interviews. And of course, Miami's Vice City Rollers. Fantastic. So we'll be talking to skaters, talking derby, just kind of, you know, it, it'll be fun. The, so the Rink Rash Radio Special Edition, and then the game starts at 6 o'clock. It's Key West's first ever official. Bout. This is it. It's all been scrimmages and kind of leading up to this. So leading this, is up big, to this. this is a big game. This for is them. a big game. And actually, so only three, we talked to Lacey or Duchess last uh, episode of Rink Rash Radio, and she mentioned that only three of their skaters have actual skating bout experience. So this is a very, very new team. And uh, I'm actually playing both games, which I'm excited slash nervous scared You're gonna play about. Four Key West? I'm going to be playing four Key West, and then I'll be playing uh, for Miami. You're up for that. I don't know. We'll After see. an hour of radio, then you're going to go play strap on games. the skates and go play two games. Well, and I have a feeling I'll be jamming a lot the first game. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, I see what happened here. <laughs> I see. Good. They give you that star panty. And, you know, oh, my God. When I got that and star panty. And it goes panty. right to your head, oh, right? It was so much literally. fun. Literally. No, no, no. I mean, uh, last game. <laughs> well, it game, does. You wear it on your head. You do literally wear it on your head. Uh, last uh, game when we played against the Rolling Valkyries, Della, our coach, you know, she she handed me the panty. She's like, let's see what you can do. And I crushed it. I uh, think I got lead jammer uh, every single time I went out. And I think I went out three times. Nice. So uh, right. each time I got lead jammer and it was just, it, it was, it was fun experience where I had so much fun. Jamming. So if people want tickets for this, or they want to find out more about yes. uh, roller derby, or if there's women out there or even guys that are interested in uh getting part of being part of the tribe you know the roller derby community or just coming out and trying it out we've got uh, our website obviously miami roller derby.com and under miami roller derby we do have the men's league which is miami brawlers the women's team which is miami's vice city rollers and the original league miami's little misdemeanors which is the juniors which of course your little gracie is part of this little creeping angel and and Skating i saw backwards. faith out there you yeah, know, Faith, she, Faith, she, she's, had fun. she she had a lot of fun, but you know she'll she'll skate for about twenty minutes and then she yeah. just wants to. You know, she's been. four years old. She yeah. wants to run around and, and play and have fun, but she wants to do what the big girls are doing too. Right, and, and, and I try to be an accommodating father, and you know I don't want to say no to anything that they might be interested in because you never know what that that thing is that's theirs. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to try to expose them to as much as I can. Right, but at the same time, I'm not going to push them into stuff. They they have to you know your passion you have to find on your own. Gracie, no, loves nobody. It. Nobody Grace can give it. that to you. Yeah, Gracie loves it. And she loves skating with the yeah, girls. Yeah, but she likes and... Minecraft too. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know which one is more. You know, it used to be that Derby was the yardstick at the house. Now it's the it's Derby and the iPad. Well, I saw a little Faith uh, show us her new little helmet with a little yes, kitty she's, she's ears. Yeah, she's very proud of her kitty and, helmet. She's, she's yeah, a little kitty helmet, and and Grace out there with brand new skates, and she's she's rocking. So it's it. little she's kids, like, men, women. They, uh, it's something for everybody. You you just want to learn how to roller skate and come out and hang out. They got that too. Exactly. If you want to compete, you want to take it to the next level. We actually. Actually, I've talked to a lot of people who've done like CrossFit for a while and they're ready for that next challenge. And this is definitely something totally yeah, different. Yeah, if, if your workout routine is not doing it for you, you're not beating yourself up enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come check out Roller Derby. I think they we'll, got just what you're looking for. Well, we'll show you how to hit and be hit and fall. And, you can and hit like a girl. Hit like a girl. All Hashtag right. So like we're girl. talking about Saturday, March, March 21st, 21st, one week from this moment that I'm in right now. I don't know when you're going to be listening to this. You may be on the live stream. And by the way, if you are watching the live stream, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Even you, the guy who's watching me naked. Thank you. I appreciate oh, every wow. single At one of you. At the Dunkin' Donuts. At the Dunkin' Donuts. The <laughs> cops will be there shortly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so doors open at 5.30. This is at the Sunnyland Hockey Rink, 9300 Coral Reef Drive in Miami, Florida. That's uh, US 1 and Southwest 152nd Street at the Palmetto Golf Course. On the east side of the parking lot is the roller rink. Plenty of parking. Yes. Don't have a car? It's all right. There's a bus stop right there. It's not, right there. Uh, and it's not and, just roller derby. You see roller derby, but you've got local businesses coming out and supporting local derby. We got food trucks. We got free beer from Biscayne Brewing. We got That's lo- right. We got local vendors from Florida Cosplay. To- no free beer for you, Johnny. No, I know that. <laughs> to tattoo shops, you know, we've got you know uh, new this uh, this bout is Geek Girl Brunch, which Ooh. is basically like a meetup group for geeks and that are girls, and they want to come talk anime, talk video games, talk card games, whatever. Um, so that's gonna be so. New. There's no way like my single geek guy friends could get in on that lunch. Could you just maybe let them know where it's happening and that kind of thing? Well, where the you cool gotta come out to the bout and oh, geek girls that's brunch. what it is. That's it. And, you know, you uh, guys, the geek girls brunch people. Do you guys do um, all of star games? The, uh, the water derby, like you know, like an example. 
people the basketball that is in the West. What yes, any- there are competitions. We, we're not at that level yet. And actually, we'll be talking to Gold Coast at Rink Rash Radio, who are division uh, so, yeah, champions. Tune so, in for Rink Rash there, Dolphin I, Boy. Well, I will vote for her if she's the number one MVP for the All-Star. She's, she's Skater of the Month this month. I am Skater of the Month. She, you know, she doesn't like to brag, but no. I'll brag for her. That, uh, well, Wilma Shakespeare, number 1616, is Miami's Vice City Rollers. Who else is Skater of the team, Month. Though? Thank you. Thank you, George. Um, what was that? Who else is on your team on your team on your team of the auto star game? Like when they do the auto They haven't game. done one yet, John. You're getting, no, you're getting ahead like of yourself. They do it, though. Well, we've well, got, we got be on that course. We got Talligator. We got Battlestar Valkyrie. It's, yeah, you can be hard pressed to pick. We got Naughty Seacup. Women for the yeah. Anger. I mean, we've got some great skaters. It's you, really, you've really been talented. to the bouts, and you, you know, like I said, they're running old, undefeated this season so far. Of course, the last bout was a freaking bloodbath. All right. Much respect and love to uh, uh, the Rolling Valkyries and their whole crew, yes. especially Sookie Saito. We hope they you get well fight. soon. And uh, Dizzy Boots. Uh, they they were amazing. Right. But it's you know the vice city rollers and and i i'm prejudiced in this and but this is my my show and this is not rink rash radio so i'll do what the hell i want uh you're talking about an amazingly aggressive team yes right. that you know you come down here you better bring your a game come heavy don't come i actually i think after the molly roger game i had one of the one of the skaters kitten puppies she came up to me and she was like you know we trained because we know that you guys hit hard Right. Yeah, you, there's yeah, no fool. You come to the 305. They are not yeah. going to play with you. Yeah. And especially, I can tell you, I don't mind speaking for Talligator on this one. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> when that girl puts on her game face. Awesome. Yeah. There's that's no, it. I Every person that I've brought new <laughs> to the bouts the last uh, couple of games, they're like, who is 305? And where did she come from? And she, oh my God, she's amazing. She's, she hits hard. She is. And you can check her out. You can see Talligator, Wilma Shakespeare. Della Ruthless, Naughty C Cups, Anger, uh, Madam Fury, and the whole crew. Saturday, March 21st at the Sunnyland Hockey Rink. Uh, doors open at 5.30. First bout, Key West taking on South Florida's Bruisers at 6. At 8 o'clock, Miami's Vice City Rollers taking on the South Florida Roller Girls. I'm George West. This has been the George West Show. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having us. Uh, thank you, all you folks who tuned in for the live stream. Uh, you can hear the replay right here on 247miami.tv every Saturday at 9. Monday at 9 with various replays throughout the week. Please check the schedule. Until next time, keep one foot in the gutter, one hand in the gold. Well, I was raised up beneath the shade of a Georgia pine. And that's home, you know, sweet tea, pecan pie.